hello there welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thanks for all of the support you guys are showing me so um i did say this week is going to be the um members free gift week for me so i'm going to work my way through the members free kit which was um released i think it was just last week it might have been the week before time just goes so fast um but it's called the enchanted realm and it is absolutely stunning so this is definitely going to come back as a deluxe craft pad i think um if not it definitely needs to so the foiling and i don't even know whether it's going to pick it up really well on how delicate that foiling is on that beautiful peacock on this foiled card so these little dots down here it's just just beyond stunning really there, there needs to be a word for something better than stunning um but i haven't got one so that's the word i'm going to be using so um the uh, believe in yourself is the one that we're going to be using so i've already um cut a card blank to six by twelve so um it is a usual card um size for me and i thought for this first one i'm going to do a twisted easel so i'm going to score at six and then I think let me just hold that over first of all and then I can work out which way I want this easel to go so if this is my front so the diagonal needs to come from there so what I'm going to do is just line that corner up with the one my black line has come off a little bit so um, let's try it again so okay so it's gonna be hard for me to do that on the smaller board so let me bring in my trimmer and i'm going to swap the blade out with my scoring blade and we did decide we were going that way so all i need to do is just pop that corner in there on the line and then the bottom corner on there and press that down if you don't want to do it in your in your trimmer what you can do is just um do it on a piece of you know just use a ruler and a ball tool and that will then fold over quite nicely so let's just give that a finish down okay and then when we fold that over like so we've got our twisted easel let's do it that way so we've got our twisted easel that sits like so okay so now we need to do some layers so I'm still working my way through this six by six so I'm going to take two pieces out so first of all I need to do a piece for the base so I'm going my usual two notches all the way around and then that should fit quite nicely into there with just a very narrow border all the way around okay and then for the top bit again i'm going to trim it down to two notches under the two and then i'm going to take that straight down the middle and then that should fit bring that in quite nicely onto here like it does. so then i'm going to be using the peacock one so let me bring that foiled cardstock in um, i'm going to be using this piece for the base so we want that to be four notches under the six and one two three four notches under the six and that should fit quite nicely onto our base 
and then I'm going to bring in the papers and I think it needs to be on so the papers come with the insert kit so they are double sided so you've got the sort of um, what I call a wallpaper print because it looks like a wallpaper from uh, past times that I've seen uh, with your plain colours on the back and then on the other side you've got these patterns so there is this one with the peacock on um, but I was looking for um, a sort of browny print so let me just bring in the topper because you're not going to see very much of it anyway so it's either going to be this one or the slightly lighter one I think that one is a better fit let's move this out of the way so um, in order to make this one again just cut it as if we're doing a normal layer so four notches under that six um, four notches or five and three quarters and then because I want this to be oops let's try not to throw this around okay so we're going to go from corner to corner and that should fit quite nicely is it going to be that way that way so I think really the pattern should have gone the other way but is it going to make a lot of difference once the top is on I think it might annoy me so let me just come in with this other piece so one two three four one two three four so before I cut it that way, and I think if I did it that way, yeah. So um, in order for the, my pattern to be going the right way, I need to cut it so that they are um, going towards the right on a diagonal otherwise they're going to be slightly the wrong way so the wrong orientation for me so um, and you can see when that's now cut diagonal I can either have it that the um, arrows going up or I can have the little arrow in the pattern going down Okay, I'm going to have the arrow going down. And that's all I need from that. So just be aware of which way you cut that diagonal that you're going to get that different way in the pattern. It's not wasted in that. I can still use the other bits um, if I want to. I can find a way to use them so that's not a problem. Okay, so let's go um, on to some layers so as usual I'm using my Kalau all-purpose tacky glue and also my Kalau um, no I've mixed the two glues up there so Kalau all-purpose which is this clear alcohol based one and then my Kalau tacky glue so they're two different types of glue uh, and just be careful with the all-purpose because if you do get it over the edges on this mirror card it can take the um, shine off so I always it's a really good glue it dries like concrete it's just the best glue um, for keeping your cards quite rigid uh, now let me see so if I'm putting this across here do I want that to go I'm gonna have it going sideways on this occasion don't always uh, sometimes I do just put it on as normal 
Um, it's either eye though, it's whatever suits you. But today we'll go this way. Okay. And then if I pop this one down and again a little bit of all purpose tacky glue in them corners. And that's just going to give us the narrowest gold border. And for these, I will put a bit of um, gold purpose in the middle. I'm also going to bring in my um, Crafters Companion Dotty Tape Runner. So we just have to be super careful that we get this in the right place. I'm just using that all purpose glue in the middle to make sure I get my positioning right before I stick that down with those glue dots. Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. Pop that around so that you can see. What I'm going to do now that that's all on there, I'm going to give that another good burnish down. Okay, so if I pop out, uh, on this occasion I am using the peacock. And there's quite a lot of toppers and um, sentiments on this one. So there's, you know, you've got the um, sort of peacock in the circles and there's two different layers there. You've got obviously this sort of white raven, I think it is. Um, you've got this believe you can and you're halfway there with the ravens on. You've got many happy returns, born to stand out, thinking of you. So there's loads of um, different ones on there. I'm just wondering whether I want, I think I actually want the three, is that the same size as that it is, so what I might do is just pop the frames out from here, because I think what I had planned on was using two different frames, and the peacock only has the one thick frame on it, so let me pop these frames out. And we'll pop our white raven to the side. We'll pop that one to the side. So we will use that one there. And I wanted to do a similar sort of one that I did with um, my members free gift last time. Only that was with the circles. So bring that one over. Okay. So what I can do is I can plan it along here. So the sort of plan was that we were gonna have that one. Um, and then that one coming over and then our peacock at the highest point so what I can do is just use some tacky glue on here so I can go along there and I need to stop just under that line And if I bring that ruler in, we can make sure that's quite nice and straight. Okay. And then this one, we need to go a little higher. And it's going to be a bit more difficult because it is the narrow frame. Just going to take my pencil and just mark 
approximately where we want those foam pads to go. So I know I need to come to around about those points. I am going to have to chop these down. And these are just a one millimetre foam pad. Just need to be super careful on these because uh, that is exactly the length. And I think even if you were using the uh, foam pads, you may very well have to cut them down. Um, the super skinny probably would be perfect. sort of mapped out okay and I've not gone over the point so the aim is that you don't want the pads to be seen on the back of the card once it's up so just taking the back off there and again tacky glue just gives me a little bit of float time a little bit of wiggle room and it also just adds to that uh, stickiness. So I think we need to be around about there. Yep, no pad showing. So that is looking like that when it's standing up. Okay, oops, it's gone behind there. And then this one. Do that pencil. So we are around about there and there. Okay. So for these ones I'm going to use the Crafters Companion ones which are slightly bigger, I think they're about a 5mm. been super clumsy today guys so if anything doesn't work it's that I um, dropped a bottle of coke down myself earlier um, I have a, a soda stream machine and uh, after the fizz goes in sometimes when you put the solution in it it bubbles up and I forgot and uh, and then it bubbled up and then I tried to stop it bubbling up and then I knocked, knocked the whole thing on the floor so there was like coke everywhere absolute nightmare okay so sentiment so we can go with the many happy returns um, we can go with the born to stand out I'm thinking of you and I think I'm going to go with the born to stand out um, because it's got the peacocks on and I think 
going to be harder to use that elsewhere anyway. So and I think I think I'm going to use that as my stand. So it's going to be a question of determining where I want that to go. should be alright with these crafters companion ones. I'm worrying about the right height for keeping that upright for me. Again tacky clean. So, so at the moment that's how that is looking okay so now we want some nice little gems and I'm thinking that we could either go with um, some sort of sparkly ones or we could go with some clear ones just looking at the colours I've got in sparkles so those are a bit too could go with the gold gold would show up quite well with that or I could use my favourite other gold ones Ooh, let's use my favourite other gold ones that way. And those ones as well I don't like those well, I do like them but I just think I will just set my heart on these now, so uh, let's pop these in. And I want my little pick tool. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to come in from this top with, let's see, we'll start with two. A huge one. Then we've got that next size down. And there's that one. That one. That looks the same. Teeny tiny one. Same size as that it is. five sizes. Oops. Okay, so those five. And then I think I'm going to do two here. Do I want to put any on there? And I'm not. I'm going to just have them on the bottom one. Okay, so that is the finished card. Um, for the insert, I'm thinking probably I would do it in there. Because once that's flat, you would be able to write there. Or... Um, you could of course pop it on the back okay um, but that's card number one 
so let me just put that one up there to dry and I'm just going to get set up for card number two okay so for card number two I'm going to be using up this piece here so um, I've already cut a piece of card which is six by eight yeah pretty much six by eight um, this is just from the 300 GSM white card um, that I use so this is a piece of um, hunky dory heavyweight acetate um, it's probably got on there what micron it is but um, I have forgotten to check so let me just check how wide is that I'm gonna do cut this long ways because uh, I want it to be um, around about eight and a half and I can only get it eight and a quarter if I'm doing it the other way so I'm gonna have strips of acetate which of course we're going to save for shaker cards, um, that sort of thing. So six by eight and a half. So this is going to be the front of my card. Uh, so that is going to go on like so. Okay, so next I am going to want some gold card. So I want a piece for the back which is going to be um, two notches under the six and two notches under the eight and I've got an insert that I'll cut on my other trimmer uh, which is going to go on the back and then this piece I'm going to cut this down to I'm going to do it to five, I think. Or shall I do it to four and a half? I'm going to do it to five. I'm going to try and keep, I only want a little bit to poke out the sides. Um, so this needs to be, actually it needs to be, if it's five, it needs to be two notches under the five and then the gold will be the five um, and then lengthwise of course that needs to be four notches under the eight so I'm going to take a little bit off the top and I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom because I want to keep some of this border so much as I hate to cut any of that beautiful detail off it's going to be done okay and then this piece we know that's the gold yeah so it needs to be five five two notches under the eight and then that should fit on there perfectly and it does and i'm just going to check that that fits onto there perfectly as well and it does and then what I'm going to do is just bring in my old um, scrappy so apologize for it um, but it is uh, my oldest trimmer I've had it since I pretty much started crafting but I have abused it as you can see so this piece again needs to be four notches under the six and four notches under the eight and then that should fit onto that gold piece there and it does so obviously you've still got the lovely bit of detail on that other piece okay so let's pop that out of the way and then we can do a little bit oh, I need a need my scoreboard just grab that and then with the acetate we're going to score at half an inch just to give us that um, flat for gluing it onto our car. That should now be eight. Okay. So let's start by assembling our card. So 
I'm going to come in first of all with some red liner super sticky tape if I can find the end of it and that's going to go on to there and we'll give it a good burnish down and the reason why I'm sticking this on first is that I can hide the workings underneath my layers and then if I line that up at the top which I it's going to be easier if I do it that way Down. okay so as you can see at the moment it's looking pretty ugly because I can see that tape there but we will be hiding all of that so I'm going to come in with my gold I will just no I'm not going to use that I'm going to use just my normal layers so Tacky glue in those corners. Good. Press down. If there's any problems later on, I will come in with some other glue at the top. I'm pretty sure that should be okay. And then I'm going to come in with this insert. Again, I'm going to use some all purpose in the middle and some Crafters Companion blue dots in these corners. Press down. We can bring it over and we can do that. So, the next layer I want to put on is this gold, um, but because I don't want any workings to be seen on that other side, what I'm planning on doing is popping that on the underside and then this layer will go on top. So what I need to do is bend that up. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in some super sticky red tape. And I'm just going to go just inside on that side. Just inside on that side. Just being careful not to have anything too near the borders because obviously that will then show through. So I can give these a good burnish down. And what I'm going to do is just take little bits of this off from there. This one I'm going to have to take all of it off. Just hoping to give myself a bit of wiggle room time. It's super sticky. I think actually it might be easier if I do it this way around. So if I put this on my mat, so quite square. And then we can just line up the gold on the bottom. I just kind of want it to be quite even. my camera wire is being just a little bit sensitive today and I just knocked it and it turned the camera or the connection off so just had to reset so this one now should just take that out and although it looks messy at the moment you won't see any of that in a second so again we're going to come in with super sticky on here 
and this time we can go right to the edge and this is purely because oops, this is the best thing I have to stick back to the acetate sort of long term I think the crafters companion glue dots would work as well um, but I'm hoping to give myself a little bit of wiggle room time by just flicking those edges over on two sides otherwise once you've put it down you've sort of had it okay so let's bring this in just gonna hold those down out of the way just gonna try and get that as straight as I can that off with that off okay so there we have uh, the card as it is at the moment okay so we can bring back in the toppers and I just want a sentiment and I'm thinking maybe thinking of you because this bread does look like it's thinking Maybe that one as well. We'll have a little look at that. Maybe something we can do. I'm going to go with my one millimeter foam pads on here. right or wrong way up okay and then last but not least you're either going to love me or hate me but a thousand years ago in craft we used to have a lot of these peel-offs so you're either going to be like oh thank god you've got some peel-offs we're going to be using those first time in like yonks or you're going to go what's a peel-off because you're so new to crafting so um basically this is a bit like the um hunky dory adorable stick um the stickables whereas it's just a very this is a very fine border um and it's a peel off so it's just super sticky so you can just go ahead and pop it down that's not very straight but uh you do get a bit of wiggle room time so you can just because it's acetate you can just peel that back up and reposition it it's not very really straight in the middle Let's see if I can get the end. And peel offs used to be all, I mean, they used to be the business, you know, everybody used to have peel offs. Um, and now you don't see them very often at all. If you haven't got any peel offs, if you've got a, like a, a, a border die, or you could just simply do um, a thin strip of gold. Or you could just leave it off, you know, it's up to you. So, I'm just going to pop that onto there. And I can trim those little bits off. And the top as well. Yeah, 
so I mean if if you haven't got any um, peel offs like this then a simple die cut will do if you've got that if not whatever you want to use instead let me just put that back where that belongs otherwise I won't be able to find it and I haven't used them in years I don't know why I decided on there um, but that is um, card number two Okay, so we've got our insert in that one this one hasn't got an insert in yet so i need to do that with that other bit so those are the two cards oh i know what i haven't done as well on there let me just excuse you out of the way just a little bit previous there i'm gonna go some gems Got some gems okay and that's not as straight as i would have liked but considering my track record for the day and how bad the day's been for me um, in terms of clumsiness I think that's not too bad and at the end of the day this is just an idea isn't it so you know you can take things on you can change it up you might think of something else um, some other you might have some sort of foiled acetate you know the ones that the hunky dory do i don't ever buy it because i think i i don't really craft with acetate a lot because i just don't like the unpredictableness of it um generally but um if you have got any of the foiled i know a lot of you do like that foiled um acetate and obviously you could be using that instead of those as well okay yeah so those three are there so that's the um, two finished cards for today so that's it for today so um, those are the two cards that we've managed to complete um, the next time I'm going to be back again with this same one which is the believe in yourself because we have got the other um, big topper in the arch um, and we've also got two circle dies uh, two circle um, topper sentiments that I wanted to try and do something with as well so um, I might try and get some of it done tonight but I don't think I'll get it finished but if I do I'll get that posted tomorrow um, but thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves happy crafting bye